Meanwhile, Health Cabinet Secretary Aden Duale presided over the inauguration of an expanded polio laboratory at Kemri's Center for Virus Research. The new facility is expected to transform how the region detects, how the region detects, I should say, and responds to, to the virus. Previously, sequencing of polio viruses had to be done in South Africa or the United States a process that delayed confirmation by over a month. According to the Director General at Kemri, Professor Elijah Songok, the expansion will reduce the amount of waiting time significantly, allowing quicker detection and faster outbreak response. The upgraded laboratory will now serve not only as Kenya's National Reference Center, but also as an inter-country hub for Somalia, Djibouti, Eritrea and the Comoros. Polio is a virus that needs to be detected early, what we have now done is that we have built the capacity to be able to directly detect the virus from the samples that are collected in the field. So, in, so in, instead of collecting samples, and then you, you, you take the isolates and grow them in cell culture, you are actually able to detect the virus directly from the samples that you are collected. Uh, it is a great occasion in Kenya's uh, public health journey. I think this is very clear. It puts uh, Kenya on the spot. It's a great achievement. Uh, being able to uh, do genomic sequencing in Kenya and reducing the long turnaround time that we heard from the experts that sometimes um, uh, takes more than 40 days and, and, and having that, having the capacity to support not only Kenya but the countries in the sub-region and beyond is just a great thing and a testament. Strong disease surveillance and local diagnostic capacity are critical to the universal health coverage. Why do I say so? This, they will ensure protection from outbreaks and they will enable us to act fast, efficient, and cost-effective responses. This expanded polio laboratory contributes directly to our agenda as a country.